Fierce. Fierce. Oh. Episode two. Oh, Nor- Northwood. Yeah, Norwood. Hitchcock. What were you saying? Uh, I think I was saying Red, Red, Redwood. <laughs> Hitchcock. <laughs> <laughs> this happened to me when I was 19. Henry, back in the olden days. I'm a little Ooh. over 21 now. Henry, back in the olden days. <laughs> uh, I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But, <laughs> but getting it out may help, even if it's just a little bit. Have you tried therapy? <laughs> yeah. They didn't want me there. <laughs> Pressing the key. I kept hitting on the uh, assistant. Uh. I was one of those people that love ga- uh, gaming conventions. I never went to those. Uh, I go to every convention. I get their chance. Okay, I, apparently I did went to those. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going to interstate drives, but a plane, uh, but a plane ticket would been would have been too expensive. Dude, they're still expensive to get a plane ticket. Yeah, they are. are you kidding me? <clears throat> oh. Uh, this convention I was I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hours drive. Jeez, where are you heading? <laughs> WASD to drive. So you actually have to drive. Okay. And as we all know, we can't trust Henry behind a wheel. I mean, he only works for a car company. Hayden Williams, I can't text and drive. I think if you take off your, your hand off, one of the keys will allow you to do it. Um, stuck in the biggest traffic jam in the country. That sucks. It's not good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. Uh, you gotta go. You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, drive safe, honey. Oh, Holly. <coughs> Don't forget to call me. Oh, uh, you got it, Dad. Anything else? Leave me now. Drive safe. Oh. Head on collision. That would, that would kick me out of game. Uh, oh, gas station. Gas station. I know how to park. Best to get out. <sighs> All right, where's the guy? There's no one can do it for me. That's only for an Oregon and another state. Oh, well, it is not Oregon. I don't know. Looks really woody and foresty, sir. You work here? Why is there a loading screen for that? I don't know. Hey, yo, my man. I got 20 on my uh, uh, number two. Hey, can I get 10 on pump two? Oh, man, you were good. Wow. Thanks, my man. Yeah. You're heading to the bridge by yourself? Yes. Why? Not a lot of people head down there at this time of year. Well, well I'm coming out of the convention center. Careful. Uh, it's up to you, man. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never return. Then how do you have the stories? Locals say that the Norwood Valley Monster have uh, torn them apart, torn them up, and hung them upside down on trees. Well, thanks for the gas. Oh, so <laughs> can I use the toilet? It's not clean. Okay. Mom, three new text messages. I don't know if you find out any shopping this hour, but we're out of we're out of dog food. Can you get something from Milo and? Pay I'll you? pay you back. Was there any dog food there? I didn't notice, but you can check it again. I don't think there was. Are you guys? What's on that shelf up behind there? Oh.
That'll be five dollars, ma'am. Thank you. Is that it? Yep. That was it. Just put that in the trunk. I am. G to throw. <laughs> there, there we go. go. <laughs> Whatever. As it phases through existence. Uh, all right. I got gas. Oh, I think you have to click on the pump. Are you on pump too? Oh, no, I'm not. We are going to be on the road again. Here we go. Time to make it home. I love how you have no legs. That's okay. Got to check on your left. Okay, no cars coming in. Or maybe you have legs there, you just haven't seen the model for them. Being on the road, you do realize a thing or two. Monsters truly do exist. Every single one of them looks just like you and me. Your parents really want you to die. Yeah. So I guess you should check it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna check it, dude. <sighs> this game is really testing me. What's up with the windy path? A rabbit? Mm hmm. What's this? Another bridge. Another bridge. There's this very weird thing about blocking the way. But that was one budge. Why would you try and run them over with your car? I don't know. I'm just gonna get out. I guess check your phone now. I'm not expired or anything, right? Surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas station. You don't need to pay me for it. So maybe you're supposed to get out of there. Oh, okay. That's cool. I guess you're supposed to be at the logs and get out and inspect those. Yeah, because that's how they get you. They just put something in the middle of the road and then uh, they're like, ah, we got you. It's like how those people, I don't know if you've seen videos of those people that like, would stand in the middle of the road and then uh, they would block your way. And they're doing that just to get you out of the car and uh, or and or get to the driver's door and get you out and they steal your car. Which a lot of cars nowadays stay locked until you put the car in park or something. It's almost is but someone had a, this the, the ability but I didn't think much of it at the time. That's what I'm saying. Okay. What the hell are you? The car won't even start up back. Ah. Won't start back up. The battery's on. The battery's dead. I was trying in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. to make this sound like a cliche horror story but you rode your skateboard into the night
but at the moment I had no choice. I was so scared to think how long it would take me for take for someone to pass. Ah. Is this Creeps McGee? I'm not walking over there. Get your ass over here. Taking this. Yeah, bash him over the head with it. I'm gonna throw it if he does anything weird. <coughs> so what's up? Get a girl from the gas station. I didn't think anyone would stop for me here. Uh, thank you so much for stopping. Uh, let's go with this. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone services. Uh, you think I can get a ride? Uh, where are you heading? It's just to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Can you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it on the back. Won't be here for too long. Comes back and he's gone or murdered. Okay, what do I need? Probably a suitcase or two. Only had two hands. Oh. Okay, um. Let's go with this. And then. <clears throat> well, the dog food doesn't really matter. You don't think so? Okay. Yeah, I think it's just the suitcases. Got my cosplay stuff. Or did you dress up as a sexy nun or something? Maybe. Oh, do I jump in the back? Uh, do you need to hurry up? I need to have all. Okay, okay. Can you help me get my stuff? Is it all my stuff? Maybe. <coughs> I figured I'll have. I, I'll let him stay there. And just have some fun. Well, no. I let him just stay there because if he was to help me, I'm pretty sure somebody's hunting in the bush. Okay, are we good? You close the trunk? Do you need the skateboard? Oh my goodness. And the hat? And the hat. The hat's gonna be blown away anyways. Well, it's just so we can see if we can get through the story. I'm just saying, I'm just speaking. Yeah, I understand what you're talking about. I guess you got to talk to him. I'm done. Finally, now hop in quickly. All right, take me to the nearest phone and don't do anything creepy. Oh yeah, he was the one that was walking in the store. Yeah, he was the one walking around. Creepy night, huh? Yeah, oh. So you want to tell me who you are, where you're going? I better not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. Uh, I'd rather not say if that's okay. Yeah. If you say so. Hmm. You're really lucky I had to be the to be on this side of the town tonight. Okay. I must say you are one brave young woman. What is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Well, it was an old car. That's it? What do you expect? 
It's an old car. I mean, yeah, it's an old car. They're, it's going to break down at some point. Yeah. We all break down here. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh... He's funny. He really creeped me out, or I didn't listen to a single word. Mm, he really, he really creeped me out. Interesting. Are you involved? Okay, Coops, Coops McGee. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Hmm. Sure, sure. Oh, so it's left mouse button just to talk to the guy. Yeah, I don't want to talk to him. So it's a chirp. <coughs> what the monsters? Let's see why I've ne <coughs> let's see. I've never seen the monsters for myself, but there are. There are some things. And I'm afraid your car break it down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother you don't bother them and they don't bother and you don't be bothered. Okay. Got it. Nice music you got playing in here. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Obviously. Hmm. Also, how do I know that you're not one of those creatures? Uh. Ugh. 1208? Two hours later. After a little bit of small talk, you dropped me by a motel. Well, apparently they offer roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Thank you, sir. I see. Uh, good evening, sir, or good morning. Uh, the man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Girl need a room to shack up uh, for the for the night. How much is it for a room? Um, yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. Yeah, a few hours. Forty for single. Pay cash only. Okay. He's gonna he's gonna spy me. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. I'm going to take care of it next thing in the morning. <coughs> okay. Good. I'll let you, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. All right. Gee, thanks. Then you have to just go to room number nine. And then uh, deliver. How many have you stayed on? Okay. Holly. It was nice and warm inside, except that there was a smell, type of musky smell you get from the old house. And where's the mattress? I kind of slept in slept there. Yo, what's up, my man? Sorry, wrong room. I know that was supposed to be scary, but I was just going, okay. Sorry, wrong room, man. My bad. This guy gave me the wrong key. Hey, yo, uh, you have a great night's sleep. Dude, you, there's a man in my damn room, bro. I think you're supposed to talk to the guy that was in the bathroom. Oh. <coughs> oh, I can take these? Oh, never mind. Is this Jimmy? What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking you. I'm Tommy, room service, here at a Roadway Inn, the finest stop over at the Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. 
Got the front desk, gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I'll make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Weird. Okay. I like how that's supposed to be a jump scare and we're just going, hey. Hey. There you go. Alright, so had a word with Joe about the situation. That was fast. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you don't you worry, it's safe here. I I'll go I'll go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get a fix, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> uh well you have a good night. <sighs> Thanks for nothing. Yeah, thank you for nothing. Ah, TV. Nice. Really? Wow. I forgot about this Superman cartoon. In Technicolor? Yeah. I mean, it's just, I remember growing up, I remember like watching a couple of them. Yeah, most of them were like in what? In Boomerang? Boom, boom. Boomerang. Yeah. The good. Yeah, Cartoon Network. Yeah, good times. All right, time to turn off the TV. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it on. So they think that I'm awake. Oh, come on. It's still on. Yeah, what's up, my man? Not foresight, but there was something very off about this place. Need to crouch. Feeling tiredness. A hot cup of coffee could help. I thought to myself. Hmm. Yeah, that has to be a coffee machine. I don't like this. That's next to number four. Espresso. espresso. Nice. I gave me an espresso. Consuming these items will help you stay awake. Awesome. Excuse me. I think you've been drugged. Yeah, jokes on them. Bad one text message. What's he gotta say? Nope, I'm not texting until I get to my damn apartment. Gotta hide in the closet. Should we click back on the bed? Yeah, I'll probably just. It's like last week on Sunday when I had a headache. Came down with a fever, and that's what happened. I just went straight to bed. Sorry, that was my elbow that popped. Three eighteen. I was sedated. I wanna be sedated. At least in the song you do, but not in real life. Face to get up. They said the phone doesn't work. Oh, 
course. You didn't see him? There better be a checkpoint. 3.18 a.m. I mean, I'll be awake by then. Oh, yeah, he just entered into the closet. Yeah, that's why I followed him. So just go outside? Yeah. Can't feel safe going out. Why? So what, you have to go into the bathroom or something? Most likely. I'm knock on the door. Is that what it was? I think so. Hold on, I'm looking it up. Okay, go to sleep a bit. Come in your door. Like, who is it? What do you want? Do nothing. Do I answer? I think you click on it. Okay, who is it? Who is it? Yeah, who is it? Joe from the front desk, open the door. Do nothing. Right? Yeah, do nothing. Knocks again. Click on it. Joe from the front desk, open, open the door. Oh, it is Joe. <coughs> oh. What? I don't know. Oh, I think you talked to him. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I didn't. I have complaints of what you are making all those goofy noises for. Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Punching the coffee machine. Is that why your eyes are all red? Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Right over there, dude. Okay, okay. Oh, here. Welcome to the coffee machine. I've location. had enough of you crazy goons here for once. I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Sweet Joe. Uh, I hate my job. Following me? It's gone. I swear to God, that was right here. What is it? What happened? Go back to your room. I swear it was right here. I said go back now. Okay. Okay. I will leave. I go back to my room. There should be some medication in your room that should have offered you some relief. If I jumped too far ahead and I don't go to get I apologize. Check the tables by the TV. Leave. I say sprint. Get this over with. Dude, I'm sprinting, all right? That's sprinting? Speed? Yes, that's sprinting without me not having any Coca Cola. Some of the Coca Cola's? If I go sideways, yeah, maybe. The table next to the TV. Uh, sink. Right. Oh, so he left. Yeah, he left. Oh, where's the sink? Outside of the bathroom. Oh. 
Yeah, he left because the door was closed. Was that a cartoon or a movie? Cartoon series. Oh. It was called The Adventures of Superman. Of course, what they're playing looks like it's, um, there was a movie based upon this. Yeah, that's why I was like, called, well, um, ah, I had Jude Law on it. Something tomorrow. <coughs> the man of tomorrow. Okay, I don't hear any damn knocking. These games do take forever, though. True. I mean, they're fun and interesting, but man. Just for the next sequence, it's like... Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. Oh, is that what it was? That's what that was reminding me of. Oh. Well, I have no stories to tell while we're waiting for whatever the crap is this game is doing. Well, that's kind of how I was looking at the Jude Law thing. Oh. So, Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow has Jude Law, Gwyneth and... Park Row, Angelia Jolie, and Lawrence Oliver. Is that a cartoon? Uh, it's a live action movie. Oh. With a lot of CGI. Oh. It sounds like early 2000. Yeah, it was 2004. Oh. Jude Law's been in a lot of stuff. I haven't. I didn't even realize he was in. I knew he was in Sherlock Holmes. There's apparently also in Fantastic Beast. I guess try clicking on the door, see if that does anything. Oh, who is it? Oh. So it does? Yeah, who is it? Please open the door. What I do you know. want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Do nothing. I will do nothing. If I'm to say something again. I know you're in there. <coughs> I don't care. Uh, please leave. <clears throat> please go away or I'm calling the cop. I swear I'm the cop. I'm not a cop. Pretty lady. Oh. Oh, go hide in the closet. Oh. And don't say anything. Shit. So, yeah. You just get knocked out? I did not. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager interfered not to get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on a long road trip again. I would always take an airplane. Good for you. I think he knocked out the white dude. Well, that's what I'm saying. Was he knocked out? Yeah. Not you. Was he? Oh. I mean, that was actually an interesting story. Yeah. Kind of got a little confusing there towards the end. Because did you hear him knock at all? I did not. Then again, I had the TV running. So that probably covered up the noise. Yeah. 
At least people gotta hear some more information about Superman! And Jude Law, so... <laughs> Those two do not go together. No. Oh, that was uh, episode two of uh, Fears to Phantom. One. Yeah, we'll try and get the <clears throat> other episodes here in here at some point. It's supposed to be scary, but I'm like, the dude didn't scare me. We've, I guess, I think it's more of the long lines that we're just so used to horror that it doesn't even bother us anymore. Yeah, it's, it ha he really has to catch us. There's a couple of times, even the stupid, uh, the Haunted Mansion scare jump, jump scare. Yeah. Like, it only got me once, and that was just a dumb plywood that was on the wall. I remember when I was uh, younger, and this was when Aliens first came out, or not Aliens, Signs. When Signs came out, I went to go watch it in the Dollar Theater with my uncle and my brother. And we're sitting there watching the movie, and they're talking about, oh man, there's an old coal chute for when the olden days. And they look over at the kid by the coal chute. <coughs> I saw the alien's mm -hmm. arm because it was a different shade of gray than the rest of the coal chute. Yeah. So I knew what was going to happen, and I still kind of jumped in my seat. <laughs> but since then, it's just gone to... Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. It's not bad. I think it's because I've seen so many horror films that you know what to expect or where it's going to... Uh, um, what's the jump scare? Or... Yeah, jump scares. Like, you know where it's going to be. The music gives it away. Well, and it's not to say that we can't do good horror movies nowadays. It's just that we don't have them like we used to. They're not original. They all use the same formula. It's always another jump scare here, another jump scare there. And then there's always rules that the horror movies follow. And it's going, it's a horror movie. Why not have it where the person thinks that they're safe and all of a sudden the entity that's been haunting them this entire time shows up does nothing and just taunts them is it fair to say that uh horror because of the many years it, it, it lost this uh it's lost its edge yeah yeah i'll say that's safe to say mm. and i like horror movies i do like i do i i and... but i just feel like we don't have the storytelling there anymore we don't have the build-up we don't have the Suspense. We don't have the the pressure added on anymore. Yeah. Anyhow, that's just my thoughts. I could be wrong, according to other people, but mm. it is what you. What yeah, it you're is. wrong. You're completely wrong. Anyhow, yeah, we'll catch y'all next time, and we'll fit in the other episodes at some point. Yep. See you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Enjoy your stay at the motel.